Hey everybody. So I thought I'd share a little bit. I'm not sure who's interested, but if you're familiar with um, the triple conjunction that's coming up, I find it kind of interesting. So from January 9th, which is today, until the 12th, we're going to have Mercury, Jupiter, and Saturn, all three visible in the southwestern sky. And with Saturn, it's going to be um, one-tenth of a degree from Jupiter. So that's kind of interesting. And then um, Mercury is going to be to the left of Saturn and Jupiter. Uh, interesting, just, you know, I'm kind of trying to visualize it in my mind with the sky map and the uh, actual ley lines. So just trying to envision that. So some interesting things about the planets, you know, um, Mercury, for instance, your weight on Mercury would be about 38% of what you weigh on Earth. Interesting. And one day on the surface of Mercury is like the equivalent of 176 Earth days. Damn. Interesting. And a year on Mercury takes 88 Earth days. Interesting. And Jupiter, you know, that was the um, Babylonians, they worshipped Marduk. And also, they they used Jupiter's, um, it was like roughly a 12-year cycle of orbit along the ecliptic to define the constellations on the zodiac. So, you know, it's kind of interesting. And, you know, I, I kind of talked on these before, but just retouching on them. And like Saturn, Saturn was known for the Roman god of wealth and, um, agriculture and he in the astronomical world it was a symbol of a sickle god's sickle and the romans named the seventh day of the week saturday after saturn's day so you know it's just interesting to look at the history of some of these Things and where words not necessarily come from, but ways they are used. Because, of course, we could all go back and use etymology and look at the history of where words come from and do a breakdown. But I'm just giving, you know, a, a small glimpse into my mind right now. Just sharing.